Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Today, Shannon and I are going to work on a lasagna garden. Stay tuned. So here's what we've been working on, guys. We're going to use, uh, we're going to make this uh, circular lasagna garden with eight slices of pizza as the garden beds with walkways in between them. And we're going to have a center area here that Shannon is working on making larger. And that'll be for the wheelbarrow to turn around in and we can actually put chairs in here and sit in here because this is going to be like a tropical oasis, right? Uh -huh. It's going to be super awesome when we're done. And the pathways, this is a pathway right here, are two feet wide, wide enough to walk through and to get the wheelbarrow in and out through. And then right here, it's going to be the entrance. So right here is going to be the entrance. And there's going to be a fence around the whole thing. So that's what we're thinking of. So we've got it lined with string and rocks right now. What we did was we, we sank this bamboo pole in the middle and we put a 30 foot, no we did 15, 15 foot. Feet. Yeah, we did 15 foot string, which is right there. And we kind of walked around, put rocks around the outside. That's how we got our circle, our perfect circle. And then we kind of like eyeballed you know, the north, south, east, and west lines on here, and then we filled in the other ones at, at the angles there. So here's what we got at Home Depot just now. Rust-Oleum, um, inverted marking paint, this is what they use on like soccer fields and stuff. We're gonna mark it out just so we can see better and get all the stringing rocks out of here. All right, are you stringing and I'm spraying, or are you spraying and I'm stringing? She's totally gonna spray her boots. Probably. I'm gonna see my butt crack in the video. You look good? Yep, it's I great. My butt. Huh? I yeah, the me. circle looks good too. Nice. Yay. Yay! The inner circle. <laughs> cool. Looks awesome. All right. So now we need to spray the sides of the pizza slices, right? Mhm. Mm okay. Oh man. I'll just hold this super high up in the air. Hold on. So check this out. Shannon. <laughs> so each of these sections, like right there in the middle, that's a that's a garden bed. Shannon is in the garden bed. Now she's on the path. Because I marked this one. And, and that's that's a little happy accident. <laughs> We have happy accidents like Bob Ross down here, don't That's we? Right. This is our world. So there. Yeah, ah, it's ah, like ah. it never happened. <laughs> a little update here for you guys. Shannon had to leave and go to work, but I got a second can of this. I'm gonna remove all these rocks and make the final circle, finish spraying this thing out here. There it is for you. All done. There's the entrance.
So I've been working on taking these trees out. My chainsaw broke, went and got a new one and uh, gassed it up. It's working great this time. I just took three trees down, three cedar trees, and I'm clearing them out, putting them all in the pile kind of back over this way behind me over here. And I've got one more oak that I've got to take down. So let me show you. So I took down this cedar tree right at the back slab in the, in the corner of my house because this shades out our garden in the morning. Check out that trebuchet. How many people have a trebuchet? This oak needs to go because that's going to shade it out in the evening. And then there's a the cedar over here. There's the stump. I'll worry about getting that out later. There's the pile of cedar bits. And I took down a few limbs from these pines here just because they were going to be over the garden. And then I took down this cedar here because it was shading out the garden in the morning. So I'm going to just finish clearing this space out. Here is the section of the garden that we marked out for our beds. And I've got to just get that one more, that one more tree out of here. Yes, I have a pirate ship on my yard too. There will be a ship in my yard, matey. Needs polyurethane. So I'm going to keep on working. here is cut a notch on the left side and then once the notch is out I'm gonna cut it from the right side it's gonna fall this way. All right, guys, taking down the second half of this oak. My bet is it's going to go straight that way and uh, may take out the sandbox, but the limbs might help cushion it a little bit. I think the sandbox is probably going to be okay. It's old anyway. My son doesn't really use it, so we'll see. So I'm going to cut a notch on the far side, you know, right here. I'm going to cut the notch out and then sever it through but I bet it's gonna fall that way. So we shall see. The sandbox survived! I, said, I guess you could just say my name, that works. <laughs> Is that fine? What do you want me to call you? I don't know, your friend? Shannon work. Shannon and I are doing a cool thing. Hey. It's an old pirate ship birdhouse my son made when he was little. <sighs> Moment of silence for me lost mateys. Ha <laughs> I got that on video. Excuse me. <laughs> That's rude. At least I'm not kicking buckets. Big rocks. Maybe we should uh, tell them what, what's gonna come next. Okay. You want to tell them what's coming next? Um. Go on camera. Uh-uh. Why? Because you're shy. Okay, I'll go on camera, but I don't know what's coming next. <laughs> why don't <laughs> yeah, you tell me? Yeah, I was going to say, you're the you boss of things. <laughs> why don't you refresh me so I can tell them? Okay. <laughs>